Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it is Friday, the 12th of March, uh, and this is the weekly tarot reading for the general collective. So, I'm going to use my new decks today, but we'll use them a bit later on. I'm going to move these, have already been shuffled. I'm going to move them out of the way and start the reading. So the last reading I did was pretty harsh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cut these again. The last reading I did was pretty harsh. And also, I used the C word a fair bit. So I'm sorry about that. It seemed appropriate at the time. But I know a lot of people don't like swearing. So I do apologise for that. Also, apologise for dropping my camera halfway through. <laughs> I left it in because I didn't know where to get it. Anyway, week ahead for the um, collective, please. What have we got in store? Now, I was thinking, because I'm not at the moment, no, I am thinking at the moment, but I just, I'm, not, I'm not doing this at the moment. Uh, I was thinking about doing weekly Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine feed, uh, readings, but um, I wondered if anybody would be interested in those. I don't like to read... Um, I'm not a fortune teller. It's so funny that's coming out. And I don't like to, I like to read the general energies as a collective as opposed to star signs and love readings because I want, I'm not a fortune teller and I don't want to buy into or allow you to buy into the false narrative of um, love intimate love being the only love and you know i want i want us to look more ourselves death and transformation at the bottom of the deck <clears throat> but i think sometimes it's important to do divine feminine divine masculine really so if that's something you'd be interested in please leave a comment let me know if i get enough people commenting i will i will do that um Otherwise, I'm not going to waste my time. There's plenty of other readers that you can get that from. Okay. These cards are so hard to shuffle. <laughs> so on Wednesday when I did this reading, which was late. It was very angsty. Oh, and it's still angsty. <laughs> I'm going to lay them all out first. I hope you can see all them. Let's have a look. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. What have we got going on here? We have hope. We have the restoring of faith. We have winning at all costs. We have the sun. We have foundations. <clears throat> Hard work. 
Um, we have an unhappiness in self. We have heartbreak. And not only do we have heartbreak once, we have heartbreak twice. But, do you know what, based on these other cards, I'm going to say depression. I, I'm not, rather than, I mean, it's heartbreak as well. But I think it's a depressive state. I feel that this Ace of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, you know, I said before last the last reading I said that your root chakra was was out of line. Um, your heart chakra is shut down as well, and I'm particularly talking to those who connect more with the divine feminine energy here. Um. And again, that's not gender specific, but look, the, the three of swords has come up twice here. So you, somebody is really in pain. And I feel like because of the cards that are here, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups and the Empress, I feel like it is the divine, more the divine feminine than the divine masculine at this time. I still feel like there is something that has hurt some, something that's hurt very deeply there's a real sense of loss here um but you, but but it is teaching you you are walking away now and you will return to your you know the the comfort of owning yourself your strength will return. It will. It really will. Like, I just, I feel like this is a real dark night of the soul right now. This, this, this really is a transformation that you're going through. Somebody within the collective, some of you within this collective are going through a transformation right now. On a, in, in, in darkness, in shadow, there is, there is a lot of things pointing to your going within. You're looking at yourself and your boundaries and what you love and what you don't love about yourself that leads you into situations that you end up getting hurt in. I think you are letting go now and I think it's a very painful process for you. Um, and I feel like... Perhaps there's been a walking away from a situation, a friendship, a relationship, a job, something that you felt you, you, you'd heavily invested in emotionally, perhaps financially, definitely with your time. And it hasn't, it hasn't worked out the way that you wanted it to. And I do feel, I do feel like, um, that the other person is, this is the other person. I think it was you as well for a while, but I think that you don't need to let go of it. I think you decided, I mean, in the last reading, it said it's pretty much that you decided to let go of it. It's just not, you know, and here that you're not working, you're just not working on it anymore. You're looking at your own foundations now, you know, you've, you've accepted it, you're accepting it. Because the heartbreak is here, you're letting the heartbreak in, you're accepting that the end is in the end is nigh. Um and that is gonna lead to a rebalancing. That is gonna lead to you coming back into your power. 
but I feel like it's gonna. I don't feel like I'm sorry to say this, but I don't feel like. I don't think you're fully through this transition yet, and I feel like there's gonna be more heartbreak. And not necessarily from the other person. I just what I mean there is, and I don't think more drama's coming in. But what I mean is that it's gonna take you. Still gonna take you a while to get over it. I don't think it's. Um. I don't think it's over for you yet. I think there's still. I think you're processing still. And I feel like that this is going to be quite a harsh period of processing. I feel painful truths. Right. Okay. Let us clarify the three of swords in this in this set, please. Let's do the first one. Let's do both of them so separately. So the three of swords in this top row. Why is that there? Just in case you need to know, the cards are as follows. Uh, uh, Radiant Rider Weight, Light Sears, Cat Black Skulls and Tarot. The Five Cent Tarot. By Madame Clara sees all. So why is the um, Three of Swords here, please? We have the uh, Knight of Knight of Wands. Uh, so I'm going to say that it's because somebody this the reason this pain is here in this situation is because somebody was careless with your heart. Somebody come in all guns blazing, full of shit, basically. And never follow through with any of it. And I think that you expected them to follow through and they didn't. And I think that you held on to this way longer than you should have done. Let's do why the five of swords is. You know, I, I feel like there was a limiting belief system that held you locked into this relationship way longer than, than you deserve to be in it. So the five of swords. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you felt that you deserved it because you felt you do deserve it. Everybody deserves love. But I feel like you felt like you deserved this this wish fulfillment was yours. And maybe it was. You know, maybe it maybe it was and that other person wasn't ready and you, and and <clears throat> And you learnt an important lesson there that you can't control what other people do. I mean, you stop working on yourself. I think it's cool. I think it's. I think it's rocks your world massively, massively, massively. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, please. Chariot. Hmm. Oh, these cars are beautiful, by the way. I'm very much in love with them. So I think here, I think you've given up on yourself. I think you've given up on this relationship, whatever form that relationship takes. Work, family, intimate, friendship, whatever that is, whatever that is for you, you've given up on it. And I think that you... <clears throat> I just feel like this is massive. I feel like this is massively, massively rocked you. It's... Um, I think you give away your power and I think that you allow someone else to control the situation because you thought this was your wish fulfillment. This is where you thought your happiness was. So seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles, please. You've been a bit tight, can't you? you? Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> the 
This is really very much like a past, present, future. All right, one more, and if it doesn't come through, it doesn't want to be clarified, I'm afraid. We'll just move on to the next set. Okay, Six of Swords. Yeah, I mean, this is like, okay, so this is that you are, let me see if it's Seven of Swords. Which one is it? Oh no, sorry, Seven of Pentacles, no. Okay, so I feel like you invested quite heavily in this situation. And emotionally, whatever you did, I think you invested in this person or in this situation quite heavily. And um it's in and now you're you're now you recognise that you need to walk away. So your happiness and your wish fulfillment are not there. They're not there. I don't need to clarify these two cards because they are what they are. The overall oh, these are called these these um cards. I've got four extra cards in them, the second edition. First edition has two, second edition has has four. Uh, and on the bottom of the deck is the messenger, which is a different... Um, it's not part of the 78 tarot cards, but I love them. They're amazing. So it's basically saying that your spirit guides are with you. That you that there are there that you're being pointed into another direction, away from this situation because this situation doesn't serve you. So I'm gonna, um, so it is reading like a present, past, present, future reading, and which was makes sense because in the present here, we've got you upholding your boundaries, walking away from something that no longer brings you joy, being wounded by it, your heart is completely shut down. Your heart chakra is totally shut down. Um, and it's totally understandable. I think there is an element now of like, this is taking a long time to process. And I, I, I'm not, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's because it's like the, the last time you need to learn this lesson. Why it's taking so long to process. Okay. Right, so let's clarify these parts in the middle. So, you know, the ace of ace of um, ace of cups, you know, is is upright. Is you know, often a new relationship, um, a new. A proposal of some kind, something something that brings you joy of the heart. But it's in reverse. Which just says that you're shut down to me. You're shut down. You don't want to open up to anything new. You're healing from what was. Because you've got the eight, nine of wands right next to it. And then you've got the eight of cups and it's like walking away. And then you've got the queen of cups, which is one of the most loving cars that you can have. The queen, the queen of cups is very, very loving. It's nurturing, healing, supportive, and it's in reverse. So you have totally shut down. The hermit, you know, is about it's about going within. It's about looking at yourself, um, finding clarity. You know, spiritual illumination, where that's going to lead to the strengthening of your boundaries. You know, protecting yourself, self defense, emotional self defense. Yeah. So let's read it. I mean, let's clarify. So, did I knock those cards out? I'll do it. So, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is that? Uh, five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're broke. You're heartbroken. Basically, Nine of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Wands. You're. you're You kind of you're you're trying to get a different perspective on it. You're trying to move on. You're trying to move on. Here you are moving on. This is what you're doing right now. Eight cups, 
from the emperor again look from this person you thought was everything from this situation doesn't have to be a person doesn't have to be masculine although it's represented here as the emperor but like you know this situation that for you <clears throat> was really you know Somebody, somebody, or something you looked up to that you're well invested in, that you you, you have faith in, um, that you respected, let you down, or you or you put sorry on the relationship that wasn't there, whatever. But they, you know, um, you're walking away from that. Whatever that is, you're walking away from it, and you're walking away. You're walking away. Look, see this character on this card is walking away into the sunset, sunrise. Not walking away into the sunset. It's not walking away into darkness. Walking away into something better. So have faith there, because I know these cars look really depressing. <laughs> but then you know, then this is this is a transition. Transitions are always painful. But here we go. Look. So your heart is shut down, and you're making plans. You're making plans to move forward. To expand yourself. To to move into a different direction. To travel away from this thing. And I think it's you know. Again, I think this is an inner journey. You may physically be moving on the outside away, or you may choose to move away. You may choose to change job. You may choose to, you know, change friendship groups, whatever. But you're definitely making plans to, to, to shift direction now. The hermit. Because yeah, you're choosing. I think you've already made this choice, but you're learning. You're choosing. You've got to choose yourself over over all these things you're you're trying to come out of a way where you will thrive basically where your boundaries won't be so flexible here we go look yeah you know you're, you're wanting to move into a place where you are connecting with yourself again if you're an artist um or if you do any form of art or anything that you do um, that's creative in any way at all, that's you know that's gonna that's gonna be your gift out of that. Excuse me, out of this situation, the ten of ones that it's gonna help you put down the burdens of this situation. I'm sorry, guys, this is quite heavy, and it's been heavy for a little while, wasn't it? Um, this transition, this thing. I feel like collectively, and I don't just mean within our collective that I channel into, because um, I feel like each tarot reader, and there's a lot of tarot readers, have their own collective that they channel into, that connect with each other on, a, on an energetic level, going through similar patterns, similar stages in their development. I'm seeing this is a universal thing. This is a, or, or um, it's worldwide, well, worldwide from the tarot readers that I'm following. This transition is huge. It's everywhere, and I feel like it's. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we, maybe we, maybe we're shifting into our uh, zombie apocalypse partnerships or something. I don't know. And into our final soul groups or. Something is definitely happening on a worldwide scale, basically, is what I'm saying. It's not just used, it's not just this collective. It is happening everywhere. And I've been, in the personal readings that I've been doing, I, I only do three month for heads readings because so much can change in that time. The way that you feel, the way that you think. They don't, you know, the reading's only good for that moment, really. You could read again the next day and it would be slightly different. Although I don't encourage that. Because you should think for yourself. Oh, creepy. His hair is only a guide to, to help support the decisions that you make. Um, but this is a collective shift like that is happening everywhere. The personal readings that I did kept coming up March, February and March. There was going to be some ego thing that happens in February, beginning of March. Um, and depending on how the you dealt with it, was was depends on how your march went and clearly i'm 
I'm representing the the underdogs, I guess, in this situation. I'm representing the people that have been, the people that invested and walked away. The other thing, career, relationship, family, friendship, whatever this thing was, the other person, the other person that dealt with the situation through ego, not through heart, through the mind, not through heart, through logic, not through emotion, um, their dark night in the soul is coming. It's coming later on in March. There's going to be a crash and burn, I feel. I'm not saying that because, you know, I want you to be joyful with someone else's downfall. But, like, what I'm saying is, energetically, the pendulum has to swing. It has to swing one way or another. And at the moment, you're in the shadow and they're in the light. But it, sh it goes back. You, you, you understand? What you're looking for is this equilibrium where you're balanced between the shadow and light at all times, not swinging from one extreme to the other. And at the moment, I feel that you're very, that it's very extreme. The pain that you're feeling is very extreme, um, unfortunately. Let's go to the Empress, please. Why is the Empress here? I think you're going to come back into your power. Not shortly as well. Just cars are sight today. Why is the Empress here, please? Oh, that's a lot of cars, though. No, it's okay. Okay, the Empress, right? The Divine Feminine. She who is perpetually pregnant with new ideas, new inspiration, new life. So this is if this is past, present, future, you know, you're going to get your shit together energetically, emotionally. You're coming back into your own, okay? Putting down the burdens of the past, as we see in the bottom of the deck from the clarifiers here. Um... There is the universe as a hand in this. This is change is fated. This is, I mean, this is a big lesson. I think I feel collectively this is a big lesson about worth. Um, that's teaching you something that's really important to you for your next stage of your journey in life. And I and I feel like it's you know, again, it's about your worth. Uh, and then you've got the king of pentacles now. This is either going to represent a helping hand that's coming into your life. Um to help you on this journey or it is going to represent um how you feel in yourself you know you're going to become solid and practical you know you get wise you're going to invest better i think that's what will happen is that you'll you'll make better choices you'll make better more informed investments in whatever you do going forward that's what I think. That's why I think he's here. I think this is representative of you, not of other people, because this is all incredibly solitary and it is necessary. Voluntary. Okay, why is justice here? <sighs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Justice. Clarified by justice. The truth will come out. You are going to get some retribution, basically, based on the truth. Okay? Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the other person, you know, do you know what I said earlier that, you know, you're going to, you're not going to watch somebody else's downfall, but it's going to come out. It's all going to come out, which will help you, I think. Although I don't know that it does here because we've got the three of swords here. But anyway, the king of wands, why is he here? And this is a truth that you can't escape, by the way. The fact that it's, um, the fact that it's come out twice. I mean, that's a, you know, that's a big bloody sign, that. So, <clears throat> now, <laughs> the first, the thing that just went through my head here. Um, and I'm talking to the Divine Feminines here. There may be... I, I feel like this is... I don't feel... Uh, this. Like, if this is you, it's about you becoming a leader in your own... 
in your own right, in your own, you know, this is about your your personal strength. But if this is about somebody else, and I feel like it is somebody else, I feel like it almost like it's a test that, I don't know if this is someone coming back from the past, or if this is, you know, which it could be with this truth coming out, or if this is um, somebody new coming in, but I feel like it's, I feel like I feel like don't attach to it. All right, I feel like it's more of this, more of the same. So if this is someone from your past, let me it's clarified by the Knight of Cups now. It's a little offer. I don't think it's enough. It's too little, too late. Too little, too late is which I'm getting here. This could be a person for the past, by the way. Let's see why they put, why is the three of swords here, please? Yeah, look. The nine, the nine of pentacles, you know, it's, this is you being in your wisdom and your power and your, in your sovereignty. I think it's you recognizing that the heartbreak that this situation will cause if you allow it to come back into your life. Um, I think whatever, if, if so, this feels like something's coming back into your life. And if it is, you're telling it no. You're not, you're not, um, you're not re-walking that path, whatever that is. And that, that doesn't necessarily mean that like, you know, that this situation is, is kind of like, well, it is over, but I mean, there can be a new beginning always, but you're not, if there is, you're not coming from the same perspective as you were. were. You're coming this from the wise, from somebody that's wise, somebody that's been through it, somebody that's grown, you know, and I think you're saying, I don't think so. I don't, you know, it's not enough. It's not enough for me. This is strength. Strength with strength. Look, and there's another one as well. What is that? The sun. Strength, yeah, you like you know what you've got to really. This is oh, this is so much about you transforming. So much about you really looking at what you need and what you deserve, you know, and 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 looking after yourself, and that's where your happiness is. That's where this new beginning is. That's where this knight of coins is. So I'm gonna clarify that just because I've done all the others. King of Wands again. That's interesting. Oh, Empress at the bottom of the deck, King of Wands. Hmm. I think this King of Wands in this this here now, I think this one is you. I think that's about you stepping into your role of leadership. I think it's about you seeing yourself as powerful, charismatic on your journey towards uh, self, I think. So, I mean, you know what? You go through this process. And and you come out the other side, guys. You come out the other side as a stronger, more authentic version of yourself. But I'm not going to lie. This is pain. This is painful. This has been painful for you. And I'm so sorry that you're having to experience that. And I'm sorry that you're having to let go of what you're having to let go of. But baby, it don't belong to you. It ain't for you. It ain't enough for you. It ain't. It's not what you need. You know this thing that you're like struggling to let go of. Um. But you are letting go of it. You are doing it. It is happening. It is totally happening. So well done you. Because I can see from these cards how hard it's been. How how much, how debilitating this situation, this person, whatever it is, has been. So let's end with some advice, please, from the um, Tarot Mystical Moments. Some advice, please, for the collective going forward for this week. What should they focus on internally in order to... Try and send this in the best way possible. <laughs> Accept that you're gonna hurt, all right? Accept the pain. Let it in, just let it let it wash over you, let it happen. Stop trying to fight not feeling the pain and let it happen. It's three times now that, that three of swords has come up. So if you're masking your pain with drink or drugs or anything, you know, or other relationships, or, you know, 
working your ass off, whatever, anything you're doing, you're, like basically what I'm seeing is an avoidance of accepting this hurt and you can't avoid it anymore. Face it. Just face it because that is how you're going to rebalance yourself. That's how you're going to recalibrate recalibra yourself. That's how you're going to get this justice. This is how you need to have your eyes open. You need to see that, you know, you need to, in order to, you need to go through this pain in order to reopen your heart. Sorry, but like, there's no escaping it. There's no escaping it. You know, sorry. Page of Pentacles, which was down here as well. You know, look to the future, not to the past. Bring your energy back to you. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to grieve for what isn't, what was and what isn't. And, and that will help you to rebalance yourself, rebalance your energy, calm the pendulum down from doing this to doing this, okay? You know, shadow, light, shadow, light, like that. So it becomes yin-yang, you get me? Like, rather than the extremes, okay? Because at the moment, you're feeling these extremes because you're not allowing yourself to grieve, to fully grieve. Allow yourself to grieve. That will bring you back in, into balance. That will give you the opportunity to see these new pathways that are opening up for you that you're not seeing at the moment because you're in so much pain, which is fair enough, you know? And while, you know, you're just waiting, there's a, there's a sense of waiting. Waiting for that for that calmness to come and just wait it is coming it is coming guys mid-march we're going to be moved on clocks go back in two weeks don't they or a week or something that's changed everything that will start changing everything for you how quickly did that winter go no one more please one more piece of advice please for the collective for the rest of this week Sorry, one more case. One more piece of advice, please. Or not. I'll go for it one more time. If I don't come, if nothing comes out, then I'll just say no. Anything, anything else for the collective? Oh. Bottom of the deck, justice. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> the Emperor. If you um, if you have an older father figure man in your life, I'm gonna tell you to go and get a hug off them because they're gonna give you some wisdom and support that you that you need at this time. And if it isn't that, if it isn't somebody that you can go and do that with, uh, it's it's about you being the best parent you can be for yourself. It's about you leading yourself into a better future and uh respecting yourself if and, and and it could be that as well it's that as well actually but it's also you know it can also be a, a father figure in the, in the flesh um you know reach out and get support if you need it of course i mean this is a heavy time this is a heavy reading the last reading was very heavy as well um but there is hope there is hope and there is happiness you know I mean, it, there is, because it's come out twice, you know. But it's not there. It's not in the past. So, allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to feel this pain. Stop denying it. Allow it. You know, have a good have a good cry. There's nothing like a good eye orgasm. You know, you feel so much better after it, to be honest with you, than holding it all in. You don't have to be strong all the time. You're human. Allow yourself to be human. You know, and that will rebalance you. That will bring your energy back to you. It will rebalance you. You'll get a better perspective. You'll be able to see these opportunities for new things, that are new exciting things that are opening up for you. Um, you know, you'll be able to put these plans actually into, into action. You know, your this choice that you'll make that will be for you, choosing yourself, will, will lead to greater self-respect. 
you'll learn how to parent yourself better you'll learn how to look after yourself better until you're in this position where you're you know you are you know who you are you you know who you are and you can you know support support yourself and make the right choices for yourself make better choices for yourself all right so that's what i have for you i'm sorry it's a bit doom and gloom um but you can do this i have faith in you collective sending you all the loves take care